two systems watching in the tropics. First, we have Umberto. Umberto became the, the uh, third hurricane of the season today, and it is rapidly strengthening. This could top out category four as we move through the weekend, but the track of that only brings rip currents to the east coast and large swells. It'll curve just west of Bermuda next week. What we're keeping a closer eye on is this. We call this Invest 94L. This cluster of thunderstorms could become a tropical depression or potentially a name storm this weekend. Spaghetti models showing it getting close to the Carolina coast and then look a pretty big spread. Some of it bring it inland. Some of it have it meandering off the coast. Others take it out. There's a couple of different features that are going to ultimately steer this. And one of those features that's going to steer Invest 94L is this upper low that's over North Georgia right now. So we're going to see that and a surface high influencing where this goes. I always talk about tropical systems being like a car with no steering wheel. They are getting bumped like bumper cars from other weather systems in the atmosphere. So it's very crucial that we're getting this Hurricane Hunter data in and extra weather balloon releases from our local National Weather Service office through the start of the weekend so that we get a clear picture of where this is going to go. What we can say with certainty is there is a lot of uncertainty with the track of the system, with the strength of the system. I can also say that the greatest impacts are going to be along the coast of the eastern Carolinas. If we see the track, coming inland and moving to the west. That would send some rain in our direction, but will we see that play out or not? It's really too early to say. Rainfall the next seven days, you can see that bullseye on the map as we look at the eastern Carolinas. For here in us in North Georgia, that rain would depend on where Invest 94L heads next week.